All right, good luck. All right, and then let's switch into Zen mode and take our 4 4 point. Play this like all the Strongo players do. Ooh, that's a cool move. Let's play a cross game. Who doesn't enjoy a good cross game? Um, let's see. All right, let's enclose, I guess. Can I turn off some of these coordinates? Here, that'll do. Back into Zen mode. All right. Let's. I don't know why I'm trying to attack this top part of the board. It feels more comfortable to try to do that, but uh, it's not the largest section of the board, so. Yeah, I should do something more like this. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's try this. Yeah, got a kind of different effect here today. If this is how Hikaru can play the game, this is how we can play the game. Um, it sure looks different, but it's the same old familiar game. Okay. So I should form a base or something like that up here. We can do that. I feel a feeling that I'm playing against a strong opponent. Alright, so do I try to invade the corner? No. No, we need some strength out here. This has got to be okay. Um. Alright. So I've enclosed my corners. Um, man, it's so tempting to try to fight back here. But like, what's the point of fighting? When we can play a nice peaceful game of Go. On the other hand, what in the world's with this attachment? Um, let's try this. Okay, I can immediately Atari, but my opponent can counter Atari. Um, I don't know, I think this is fine. I don't really... I don't know Joseki so well. But in my estimation, I think this is a fair exchange and that I've solidified the corner. Um, maybe built up some influence toward the center, I don't know. And then I want to build out this way, I guess. And do I keep pushing along the second line? Do I push back to the third line? No, I don't want to give this up. Hey, welcome. What's up? Alright, so... My opponent really likes this stone. Um... I don't really know what's going on. If I do that... Hmm, why am I even fighting for that? What am I fighting for here? Um... Hmm... Why don't I just build up a nice little wall on this inside here? Uh, 
and just build straight down. Um, move by move, I get more confused by my opponent's ambitions here. So build up some strength over there. Just so my whole group doesn't die a horrifying death. Um, okay, this this does not seem smart on his half. I don't know what this is about. This is a very, I don't know, dense, compact shape. Um, it just doesn't feel like a very good shape to me. I could be very mistaken here, but um, I think I'm doing okay. Okay, so as long as I make a couple eyes, I'm fine here. Um, What's with this? Am I losing my corner? What am I supposed to be doing here? Well, thank you. Yep. I'll need all the luck I can get here. Still, I don't think that I've done anything too terrible up here. I mean, yeah, my position looks depressing, but, Ten, um, nine, oh, hey, eight, check that out. Seven, I'm going into Bioyomi. How about that? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so, yeah, I don't get what's going on up there. I'm just building a nice little wall. Nice, pleasant little wall. No, my opponent has two eyes, though, so I shouldn't really be fighting here. So basically, I threw away my only corner and didn't even get anything out of it. Um, yeah, this is not my best game. I thought I would have counterplay. I badly estimated what in the world was going on here. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep building. Even though this stick-like shape just doesn't suit me at all. Um. Yeah. Yeah, no, my opponent's got me here. Like, this... I've been completely outclassed. I have no eyes. I've given my corner. I have one base. Yeah, I, I just don't like this... the way this turned out. At all. Um, does my opponent have a rank? Yeah. Uh, this is good for me to get back into things. 11Q. I mean, that could partially explain what happened there. Um, so, okay. I mean, I know I'm trying to get back into the game. I've not played on a 19 by 19 board in ages, and this was considerably more aggressive than I was prepared for. Um, and I know I protested, in general, the idea of playing with a handicap, but... Maybe that wouldn't be such a terrible idea after how this played out. Um, I'm thinking this is a terrible play on my part. But what else could I have tried here? Yeah, when did I first play? Um, I think a year or two ago. Uh, somewhere around the time when the Alpha Go matches were taking place. I'd 
started taking a more serious interest in the game. Um, but yeah, this is just a really sad shape. And uh, I did nothing to help it. Um, yeah, I really have like four scattered groups. The one that got captured, this scattering of things here, and then just me trying to build on this side. And really, this is me waging war and sacrificing all my guys at the same time, which is not a good strategy. Let's see if I can do better. Yeah, a lot of people discovered it via the AlphaGo challenge. Um, now, to be fair, I did take some interest before then, um, but um, it wasn't nearly, I don't know. Like, I had been trying playing this game far before that challenge, but it wasn't a very serious interest, and I did not practice at all. I did try playing some games against like some really low level go bot and pretty much um lost terribly against the bot even with a large handicap um it took a while to get more accustomed to just being able to count liberties and such um okay this is strange I feel like this is a better shape. That I got something out of this. And that I don't have to fight. Fighting is optional. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, you can build up on the sixth line. That is a thing. It is doable. I don't think people necessarily want these coordinates on either. Let me just. Is that okay if I remove the coordinates? Do people object to that? I know it makes it hard for you guys to refer to what's going on here, but um, I do think it's a little bit easier to see the board this way, too. Okay, so the largest section of the board would be this side. So let's take that. I know my opponent's trying to build up something on the right, I don't have to kill everything. I just need to survive somewhere and score a large enough territory. It's not a winner-take-all game like chess. So this is a reduction, I think. It's a bit early for me to have played such a reduction move, but... Um... Like, I want to enclose this corner, but I want to do something more aggressive, too. I just don't know. Like, there's so much unclaimed space on this board. Yeah, okay, so this D9 out here was a good move. So this is a bit too aggressive, and just allowed him to formulate a base here which isn't worth challenging right now. Okay. I can buy that. Oh, the one I played, you mean 9 up from there. So this is actually a good reduction then. Okay. Well, that's good. I've played a good move today. Okay, so... Um, hmm. That's a bit aggressive, but not too aggressive. I guess that's warranted. No, I shouldn't fight like here. I should just build across and take space. And even if he does kill one of my stones, it's not the end of the world for me.
Okay. We're going to just take a... Well, I don't know if I could completely take a non-aggression policy. <sighs> so I guess we will fight. Okay, you get some space, I get some space, we both live, and this is okay. Okay, that's weird. What's going on here? Am I dying? That's Atari. If I push through, I'm still an Atari. I thought I was okay. Am I not okay? Am I in serious danger here? Alright, I'm running. So this is a big old ladder. But this is not really the base of a ladder now, is it? Um. Hmm. Oh, but this does not look very alive. I have maybe one eye. Probably not two. Which means I'm going to bleed as he continues chasing me around. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Hmm, I suppose this could have gone better. Jeez, this is going to hurt. So I have to sacrifice that group of five because, like, if I push, if I try to defend here, I'm dying here, right? This looks very dead to me. And yet, I just can't count it out. It's a ton of reading, and I'm just, I don't see what's going on. Okay, that seems much too slow. Um, if I do this, Atari, Atari kills Ten, me. Nine, oh, I'm in Bioyomi. Check it out. Six, five, four, three, um, two, two. let's try that. Two, one. I have five liberties. It looks like he has more than five. One, two, I don't know. I don't think that does much to help his liberties, honestly. So now one, two, three, four liberties. Versus my five. This might be a race. I could immediately capture that. Well, I'm an Atari. So if I don't take that, um, that's bad news, right? Okay, that's another Atari. This one I can't stop. Um, 
I wonder. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, four. This can't be terrible, can it? No, he has two eyes already. He definitely has two eyes, especially once I let him do that. Um. Let's. I'm still not reading this properly, and I know I'm in Bioyomi already. Bioyomi is 30 seconds, so I can afford to stop and smell the roses and think a bit, but I really want to see this play out, because I'm just exhausted at present. Maybe the more I play, the more I'll wake up. Okay, that's two eyes. That's the point. Though if I throw in here, maybe that's a false eye, but... Um... Okay. One, two, three. Um. Hmm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, now I guess I miscounted this, and it doesn't help that bot doing the Bioyomi count. Well, no. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm not... Com hmm. I don't know. Go is hard. Okay, I suppose I Atari here? And now my entire corner group's an Atari, so I must do this. Which reduces my liberties to two. But um, my opponent also has two liberties. Okay, cool. I don't think I deserve to live there. But I think I pulled out. Somehow I managed to live when I did not deserve to. Um, right, so that's an Atari. I have to protect that. Um, right, okay, so we accept that that group's dead. Okay, this is Atari here. I don't want my shape being cut in half here. Um, I guess I'll hold on to this and connect these groups together. Right. So my opponent's fighting to try to save their group. Um, am I in a ladder? No. Okay. So I could connect all my stones together this way. No, my opponent's threatening something more dire. I can't just let Ten, this slide. Nine, eight, oh, wait, seven, wait, no. Yeah, no, six, I should play this five. immediately before it's too late. Okay, and now they take that corner. Right, I have to do this. Okay. Um, so I might be losing this corner. That's okay. We've got something for it. Jeez. Wow, our opponent's playing a bit aggressively here. Um, I mean, maybe it's warranted, but I don't want to play a first line move. I gave them this for free, didn't I? Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
Four. Okay, well, my shape is weak. I have to play some slow moves to correct for that. And they push into the center. <sighs> Lovely. Um, there's still other territories to fight for. Okay, they're not letting me connect. And I don't have a way to... Well, I doubt that I can kill this group. I'm in no way positioned to do that. But I can build out something here. One, two... I'm actually going to play a third stone and then jump. Um, only because I'm feeling a lot of weakness in this locality. Okay, that's really aggressive too. Um, geez, so much aggression. What did I do? I know I killed your corner here, but... Um, do we really have to fight like this? Can't we just be go buddies and get along? <laughs> Apparently not. One, two, three, jump. Okay. If I can take the center, maybe losing the right isn't such a terrible thing. Um. Okay, we'll threaten to connect and force them to kill right away. And build up a center. My center isn't anywhere near as large as um, what I gave up for it, though, is it? Okay. Yeah, this is a really pathetic center. Um, it's another Atari. Okay, so... I mean, I could connect. I don't like this connection. But... I... Ten. I'm in Bioyomi, I have to keep moving. But, yeah, I don't like my position at all. I kind of like it now. I don't see the point of my opponent's last move. I don't get it. So if I play this, am I self atari -ing? Yes. I can't do that then. If I do this, he does there, I go here. That's self atari Um. Ten, nine, eight, eight, seven. I don't know if I can allow, well, no. Yeah, if he played here directly, that would also be self-Atari. Okay, we connect this together. As necessary. Um, really? Okay, so... What's going on? How, how come I can't control any territory? What is this? What is this? How come he can control all this territory and I can't control anything?
I'm very confused what's going on. It seems like I can just kill these three. And he's built up this nice little stick that doesn't do much. Um... Atari? Hello? What's with this? I'm very confused. My opponent's excellent at controlling territory, but um, he's not very good at retaining it, apparently. It's Atari. I better increase my liberty count. Okay. Is this typical of double digit Q games? Are they supposed to be this much of a bloodbath? Because this feels really weird. That, like, it's just a complete roller coaster of me not liking my position and then being okay with it again, and then not liking it all over again. Um. Just a complete and total roller coaster. Okay. <sighs> Go is hard. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, this would be self Atariing. Let's not do that just yet. We'll save the self Atari for later. take our end game point um, and then realize we probably should be fighting for something more significant than just end game points um, all right did he leave any cuts open Ten, nine. let's take this side Okay, good. Cool. I think that'll be a good constructive measure. Um, they say attaching to your opponent's stones just makes them stronger. Ten, um, nine, eight, seven. Or at least your opponent's weak stones. Attaching to them makes them stronger. Um, okay, so I can't really do anything to influence this corner beyond what I've already done here. He's got a very large right side. I thought I was taking the center. To some degree I did get it, but... Um, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Okay, you build your stick. That's a very nice stick. I don't know what I should have done about the. Oh. Okay. I think I have a living group on the bottom. My bottom's not nearly as large as his right side, but, you know, my group's alive. We can appreciate that. This feels like an overplay. What else can I play here, though? I mean, I could play that, I just don't really want to. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, five. I'm going to play it anyway. Okay, he wants to reduce my center then.
or prevent me from making territory there. Likewise, he wants to prevent me from making territory here. Um, fine. I guess he gets some territory here after all. That's a weak stone. Why did I attach to it? Why am I continuing my policy of attaching to weak stones? I know I want this group up here to live, but surely there are better lives to have. Ick. Yeah, what am I doing? I know I want to avoid being cut, but there's got to be better ways. If I played this, he's going to cut me. Um, so I'm going to extend once. Oh. Okay. I'm flustered. I'm very flustered here. In case that wasn't obvious. Ten, ten. He's done a really good job reducing my center, and I've done a really good job helping him. Even so, I think I win this because I've taken so many prisoners, but... Yeah, he's done a brilliant job reducing my territory. Why didn't I just extend here and try to push into the corner? Why am I playing such defensive go? <sighs> what am I doing? Let's push through. Let's make him defend and work a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my name here. Yeah, we're doing is something a bit different in light of April 1st, so I don't typically use these colors, but I thought today they could be a fun thing to um, run. Um, okay, it's Atari. Right. Okay. So I don't. I guess I'm fighting to kill this group here. Kill something. <laughs> um. Okay, I failed to kill it. Um. Hmm. So I've turned my entire center into Dame, because I don't know how to control the center. Um, and I keep trying to kill his groups, and despite how many prisoners I've taken this game, um, yeah, my game could have been much better. Look at me, I've controlled two territory. Isn't that an achievement? Alright, so maybe I can squeeze something out of this. That's just endgame points, though. But what else is there? <sighs> what else is there here? Okay, so that's Atari. We're finally going to take that.
You got the Platinum Trophy. Congratulations. Okay, so... Yep, we're both um, taking endgame points here. Where, oh, down here. Very well, we can do that. I'm afraid he's going to jump in here and try to kill me. I'm not even sure how that would work. Um... I think I'm solid enough up here, too. Let's see, are there any other cutting points here? I mean, there's the left side of the board, but that's really slow. Um... Okay, so we prevent that connection. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> ah, an achievement. Yeah, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Um... Hmm. Ten. Okay, let's go for it. There's, it's a stone for a stone, so there's no harm, no foul here. Um. Yeah, this fails quite wide of the mark. Ten, nine, eight. Seven. Seven. Let's try this side. Um, okay, I guess I'm not killing that either. I mean, we'll try, because why not, but I'm quite pessimistic about this. Oh. Okay. Sure, why not? I can do that. I don't know if my opponent... I don't know what they were thinking there. All right. That end game. This corner here is Dame. I filled in a point. I didn't need to do that. It does not benefit me in any way to have filled that point. I only had to fill that if he placed in the corner. Um. Okay. Let's deal with this here, shall we? Score some real points. I should have done this like on the ancient Go interface. That gives you uh, an achievement for connecting one side of the board to the other, which I could do here without too much difficulty. Um, he's filling Dame, but maybe I could have scored points from it somehow. Um, Ten. Nine. All right. 
I still wonder if like something up here is dead. I'm gonna fill in a point of my own territory, I guess, because I don't Ten, know if I'm alive nine, or not. Eight, seven, six, five. Six. It is Gote, but it does a point difference. All right, that's good. Right, I wondered when that was going to happen here. Okay, I'm super alive up here, apparently. All right, because I could just place a stone like here and there and whatever. So, okay, I didn't have to fill that up there. So the only point of contention is in the corner down here, then. And if I'm feeling, feeling silly, I could try to contend for stuff up here. But, um... Hmm. Right. I was wondering when we tried to resolve this, too. Um. Oh. It's much bigger. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Duh. Okay. Well, if I fill this Dame now, that costs him a point. So it's not really Dame, because he has to do something about this. Um, hmm. I can't Atari him anywhere. Ten. Yeah, I pass. All right, white wins by 33. Interesting. Thanks for the game. Very interesting game. All right, so we have some comments uh, by SAI here. Uh, 2Q, very nice to see such help. Um, C1 down here has been a huge end game, yeah. Instead of fighting for one point and two point all over the place, we should have been fighting for the corner, sealing that off first. But let's start back up the top. Um, okay, variation. In Go, it is important to disconnect stones. Black has two weak groups, uh, A and B. White has only a, oh. Okay, so we consider both of these groups weak because that makes sense. So disconnecting the stones is an important point. So even though like I can't immediately like claim territory or anything over here, this disconnection is useful. If for no other reason than making sure my existing stone lives for a bit longer. How'd we get here? I placed here and my opponent did this kick and I could have just said, you know, Okay. That's interesting. I've never seen this before. You wanna... yeah, good game. Yeah, I would never... Uh, you wanna identify when fighting is good for you. And here it actually is. Um, I've got some strength over here, a little bit of strength over here. My opponent has two weak groups. I'm not gonna go out of my way to pick a fight, but if my opponent's asking do I wanna fight, sure. Of course we do. Okay. Uh, variation up here. E18 uh, is also an important move, separating A from B. Oh, same concept. So saying I'm willing to fight because I don't want all your stones connected. I want to have more potential for me than for you. 
Yeah. Okay, so I don't have to back off just because my opponent plays very aggressively. Can black cut off e18? Oh, uh, wow. Um, okay. Um, all right, two things come to mind here. If black's trying to cut it off, let's say he goes here. Uh, I can do that. So that's not a cutoff. Uh, if he does something, I was going to say more sensible, but not really, because this is the same concept. My one kind of forces him to play at three here. Um, he kind of has to do something around this area. Yeah. I've seen a little bit of Joseki well enough to know that, like, I have this threat um, in this shape. So he has to do something about it. So in, in turn, the fact that he has to do something... Um, and he can't do this either. I mean, he can. I've seen Joseki that kind of revolve around something like this, and I don't really get what's going on here. But one is a free move. Doesn't mean I have to play it three here. I could still play one and then make up my mind of what I want to do next. Um, so, like, if he does play away and tries to get something else for it, fine. Maybe I go here, maybe I go here, maybe I go somewhere around here, I don't know. But, in all likelihood, my opponent's going to do a reply somewhere around something like that. And I've separated the two groups, which was the goal. Um, though I am curious about this. I guess if I'm really curious about it, I should look it up on Josecopedia or something and try to get some sense of what's going on. Okay, you posted the Joseki sequence at the bottom. I guess, oh, at this bottom. No, no, at the bottom of this chat. Okay, we'll get there when we get there then. That's interesting. So, white should cut at c5. All right, so, we go here. Oh, I should just cut here at c5. Okay. Well, yeah, like you said, you posted it down here. That's not, uh, that itself is not a cut. You're talking about this. White should cut at c5. Um, yeah, you're right. There is a chat delay. That, that's what I meant to say that I should just get to that when I get to it, but I jumped the gun on it. Um, but yeah, there is a cut there. Um, all right. Yeah, that looks complicated. <laughs> uh, but at least, even if white loses the two stones, white gets something here. Uh, it's complicated. Much too involved for a double-digit queue like myself, but, um... Even if things turn out poorly, um, I get something out of it. The three black stones should die, although it's not obvious. Okay. Um, why does white not lose the two stones here? Oh, I'm sorry, these two stones. Right. Um, well, I mean, I've got this Atari that I've got. I keep forgetting that I have it, even though it's like super obvious and there the whole time. I remember seeing like I shouldn't just take the Atari. Um, oops. If Black plays there, I shouldn't just take this Atari because then Black gets this, which is no fun for White. Um, but yeah, you're right. I'm not losing these two stones. So what am I so afraid of? Yeah, I, I could play this. Um, even if I don't play it right, I mean, this is still awesome for double-digit Q to 
get anywhere near a Joseki. Um, and even if I end up losing two or three or however many points from it, which, I don't know, maybe I do somehow manage to mess this up, I'll learn from it when I mess it up. Um, or I could study it, forget it, mess it up anyway, and then learn from the mistake. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of Sumego, so liberty counting is something I'm starting to get a grasp of. Um, with that big, big capture sequence, I don't think I evaluated things right at all. Um, so we're getting there. White should play here to make an eye. As long as the outside stones are saved, the result is Seki. Oh. Oh. Okay. So as long as I don't lose... Yeah, as long as I can contain that group at the top there and not lose my containing stones, uh, that is called a Seki then. It's very unusual for a double-digit Q game to have such a complex thing in it. Um, what did I play? Oh, I played to try to kill. Because I didn't see the Seki possibility. Um, so, of course... Well, no, I was going to say, of course this is Atari. Black needs to play around here, but no. That's not the most important thing in the position. Um, this is already Seki. There's nothing that can be done other than trying to fight to kill my stones on the outside. Um, that's going to be one hell of a fight. Um, although, I think I can hold it. Um... It's like if we do proceed this, um, sorry, didn't mean that. I meant if he does try to kill me right away, I live. So, um, he's got to do something about the Satari, and in which turn I do live. Um, I don't know exactly how I live, but yeah, I'm able to run if I have to. So, um, I'm okay on the outside. On uh, 61. Okay, so we're here on 68. If we back up to 61 here, and don't look at the answer, um, what should black play to kill? Um... Or you said 69. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me go over to 69. Here's 69. Um, what should black play to kill here? Oh, boy. Um, okay. If I take a moment to assess things... And not just freak out about being in Byoyomi and whatever. How many liberties does white have? How many liberties does black have? And does that even matter? Um, this upper group for black has something like two liberties. Because um, that's an eye. This is like half a liberty. This is like half a liberty or something. I mean, these do count each as one liberty apiece, but they're not very easy for... Like, this is a liberty shared between white and black. I guess this counts as a complete liberty. So this is like two, two and a half, and three or something. This inner group has two liberties. Um, I'm not even sure if the liberty count matters here, because things could be so urgent. Um... And, um, hmm, wait, I'm, during the game I was thinking, 
could play d1. I thought that because this um, has Atari with it, this had to be played immediately before I get the chance to um, start threatening Atari myself. Can white ever play a d1? Uh, only if I've surrounded on the outside. But even if I have surrounded on the outside, you're saying this is Seki. Like if... Um... Oh wait, this is the way the game proceeded. And we were saying that I should just play down here and it should be Seki. Okay. Um... D1 was very bad for black. Hmm. I mean, I see a possibility of, like, playing your way up the first column here. I don't like that. Because it's really slow. But it might be good enough. One, two... Oh, I only have three liberties. One... You have to play one, and then two, and then three and then four to kill. Um, and meanwhile, what am I doing? I'm threatening to try to go D1 if I can, though I don't think it works out very well. I'd have to play one and then D1. He kills, I kill back. Um, let me... Oh. Sorry. Ooh. Let me put the coordinates back on. Uh, hopefully calling that D19 is not too disorienting to you here. Um, can I go back into Zen mode or something? No, that doesn't enlarge the board at all. I don't like the fact that like I can't make the board larger. Uh, so A13. Oh, stopping this... Okay. Right. You don't need to play A13 and then A11 and all that. You just need to stop the Seki from happening. And then white is dead. Okay. That makes sense. Oh. <sighs> well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, can white ever capture black? Um, I want to find out. You called this Seki, so obviously the answer is no, but I want to find out if this works, because I, I just really don't get what's going on here. Oh. Oh. That's what's going on. White loses two stones. Black loses one stone. Black plays a move anywhere, or passes, and we repeat the sequence, and black loses, or white loses another two stones. Okay. I've never seen that before either. Um, but, yeah, white cannot kill, um, unless white has, like, some enormous co-threat elsewhere and can afford to do this. But, yeah, it's not happening. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I think I better understand what's going on up here now. White, at best, should have been aiming for Seki, because this whole sequence of trying to kill this group doesn't work at all. Um, now, if I back up, I saw there was a variation at 61. Did I add this? No. Oh. Okay, black could simply live. Um. What did black do? <laughs> okay, yeah. Black responded. Um. Instead of doing this, which would have been simpler, but allows me to go to E19 for, like, an endgame point. So, I duped black into playing this. Um, um, 
but Black really didn't need to go there. And even if he does go here, I mean, yeah, he's totally alive in the corner. I'm in Atari already. Um, like, even if I try to make... I've got one eye, but I've got to make a second eye to live. And if I keep pushing through here, Black can just, I don't know, take the right side, take the bottom side, take all kinds of other stuff. So... Yeah. All this... Yeah. God, that's embarrassing. Okay. Um, so let's go back. That was a fun little exercise we had in our corner. Um, <laughs> Alright. Variation. White can respond to Black's co-threat. Because Black still has to remove a liberty at A13 to win the co. We call this a one-move approach co, favoring white. White can respond to Black's co-threat. Black's co-threat was... Um... Oh, okay. It's this thing where I ended up killing him as a one-move approach co or something. It's definitely a co for life, because I won the co, and his group died. A pretty sad death. Um, so this is called a one-move approach co, I guess. Um. <laughs> yeah, it was complicated for me. Um, to continue fighting, white must play A18 instead of F19. To continue fighting, white must play A18. Oh, this is the thing where I played F19. If I, if white wanted to continue fighting, don't play this silly move, play this. I'm sorry, I completely miscontextualized what you're talking about. Um, White well, still had two liberties, A13 and A14. And to capture White and win the co, Black has to remove a liberty and then win, a, win the co. Okay. So, yeah. Black starts up like this. White has a liberty, and Black has to make his way around the corner, and um, yeah, so Black has to approach, and then um, it's a slow process, but White does die there. I mean, White's already dead by Japanese rules. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm trying to follow like your comments over here in the game annotations, your comments in the chat window on Twitch. I know there's a delay, even though I have like low latency on. But um, okay, but yeah, about the last variation you posted, which would not be this variation, but would be about this other variation where something happened somehow. Or White got to play, I don't know. But I do like this point here, that if White wants to continue fighting, I'm in Atari. I have to deal with this situation here first. Um, we get something like this. And then Black's got to work his way around here. Now granted, I'm still dead. Like, this isn't even a race. Um, but hang on. Black would not start there. Black would start somewhere else. Because, like, this is just one liberty. All these other groups are far weaker, so attack them first. Um...
Okay. So, yeah, this A18 is a far better way to attack. That doesn't put my own guy in immediate Atari. Um, and black does... Well, I see one eye here. Forming a second eye can't be too difficult because I'm in this... This small group of three has a shortage of liberties. Uh, black would have to do something like this, and then a19 and a16 to be free. But he's got one, two, three, four liberties. I've got two liberties. And if I connect, I'm still dead. So um, that's one way it could have played out. There's doubtless other ways black can live here. Um, but I played this because I was confused. And um, let's see, did we look at this? Yeah, we did look at A18 where black is just clearly much better here. Um, after a black C19, it's after my suggestion. Whoops, well, I would have to play a E19. Um, right. Wait. Oh. So, okay, and if black does something greedy like this, um, black does something greedy like this, do I not have something here? Um, it's one eye. Yeah, black gets himself in trouble if he tries to be too greedy. So e19 is free. Um, and yeah, black could just focus on killing the a18 group. Actually, if he does this greedy move, why don't I just start here? It's the same thing. And if he tries to take the corner, then I've got this. So, yeah. E19 is free. Black might have some obscure way to make uh, E19 bad, but it looks okay. My initial reaction when I looked at like this stuff with A18 and E19 was that this is just bad for white. Because um, E19 is a weak stone that easily gets separated from the rest. But um, if I actually count the liberties, it's not so easy. Um, so like if black fills a liberty, so black has one, two, three liberties, plus the corner. Um, so if that's a co-threat. Um, yeah, and this is, a, I'm sorry, this is Atari, this is Atari. Um, so black can't just separate this E19 stone. Oh, after A19, I'm actually an Atari, and I must connect. That's an even better result. That is a really nice result here. Yeah, my liberty count is... I've got three. Black really doesn't have three here. Um, yeah, that's Atari. So it's not like he kills me right away. Um, and because I have Atari, I get this, and now I'm alive. See, so yeah, A19 is much too slow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of fighting going on here. It's more complicated than I thought it was. So there's all kinds of ways I could have messed this up that didn't happen in the game. Um... <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. Watching these double digit Q games must be like a roller coaster for everybody else watching too. Um so okay, I played C nineteen here. Um Did I read this correctly? He played A twelve. Um Uh, if he try to kill me right away, I have to connect here. A12. A13. This is very similar. No, this is not the same thing as the game. Although, this would be self Atari, so Black has to back off a bit. And I've got this still. Um. No, that's totally fine. I don't mind that. But I'm sorry if that, um, if anybody else is overwhelmed by that. Um, so, yeah, Black was correct to try to approach from A12, but it just didn't happen to work out. This co favors Black. Oh, right! Shoot, I started a co here. Hang on. Um,. Hang on. We can't start a co like that. We need to fill the outside liberty. Um, ooh, and then what? Um, if I connect here... Okay, this co favors white. Except that's a self Atari. Okay, so I can't do the outside liberty either. Um, where was our game? Yeah, here he approached with A12. And I was commenting on whether or not D19 mattered. Yeah, self so Atari is kind of bad. Um, so, if he just killed this, which I thought he was going to do, um, am I just dead? Wait, no, we were talking about this. Uh, and that if, like, I can just survive on the outside, um, and if I fill this extra liberty on the outside, then this is Seki. We've been here. Yeah, I'd have to fix the outside, um, and this would be Seki. Which is, again, a very complicated concept for me, but the idea is like both players would be self atari um to try to win this fight. And so, uh, peace is had. I don't immediately need A13 because Black hasn't done anything here yet. Um, but yeah, once A12 does appear on the board... Um, then, as you pointed out, I should just do this A13. And if Black didn't play A12, but instead went here, then eventually when Black does play A12, uh, let's say I pass, not that I would, uh, then we'd end up here. And as long as I fix the outside, this would be Seki. Um, so... Uh, this is Atari. Um, so Black responds to the Atari instead of immediately trying to kill me or something like that. And I have time to fix the outside. But suppose I had to play somewhere else. And I don't know. Is this still Seki even though I haven't yet filled this? I know I'm going to get around to filling it. Do I have time to fill it? I think I do. I'm pretty sure I have time to fill that. Um, because the most aggressive thing black can do is this. And, oh, duh. We've seen that before. Okay. Um, wait, this is... No, that doesn't kill this group. 
because that's attached to this group. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, the quarter is just, in general, um, it's not happening. <laughs> Although, in the game, I did end up playing the corner at some point under a slightly different circumstance. Um, uh, wait, hang on. So, yeah, oh no, it's under the same circumstance. I filled the corner. And this would have allowed um, Black to play a 13 instead of me doing the Seki. Okay, so sorry we have not yet looked at this, or if we have, I've forgotten it already. Um, oh no, now I remember. White can't do anything to approach. Yeah, so White's dead, and that's why White has to play the Seki. Um, instead of the corner. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's that corner situation. Um, variation, why don't you try to make an eye? Variation, white can respond to um, black's co-threat. Okay, black made a move down here. White can respond to black's co-threat because black still has a, to remove a liberty at A13 to win the co. Um, we call this a one move approach co favoring white. So white can respond to black's co-threat um, this is your comment from earlier, which I completely misinterpreted. Um, so white can respond to this stuff down here, because, um, because white wins the co, and then, um, Black can do something down here, but the point is that the white group is alive because white wins the co. Um, and that if black just approaches, uh, that gives white the time to do whatever white's got to do here. So white had time to p respond at b4. Um, oh, the co in question's at the top. Of course. Um, okay. So... There's one first, there's two first, and then there's B19 first, all three of which theoretically could be played. Notice that black is in Atari up here. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Atari. Duh, we have to deal with that. Black has to deal with that, otherwise there's nothing to look at. Um, but white doesn't self Atari <laughs> that would be dumb don't play down here just play anywhere else literally um, and then white wins the co back because this is not Atari um, so like if black had some killer co threats elsewhere black could proceed like this and if white had to respond elsewhere that would be something else um, but here, white can just do that. Okay. Right. Duh. Yeah, because this black winning the co is not Atari. White winning the co is Atari. So that's, I guess that's a one move approach co. Yeah, if we transition to, um, this down here, this is a direct co. Whoever wins the co wins the life of this constellation here. Um. Oh wait, you're saying once black has taken it, this becomes a direct co? Or 
once black has played like a13 or something this becomes a direct co after a13 okay yeah because whoever wins this wins uh life and death puzzle here so yeah it makes sense that this is now a direct co instead of an approach co um black seeing that black is losing this co uh could approach first and save himself the hassle of fighting it out um uh, to which um, white can't do something reckless because then black wins the co and then just this group dies. So black approaching would force white to do this. Black cannot approach first. Um, um, I beg to differ? Okay, yeah. Okay. So yeah, black can approach first, though it doesn't do him any good. Other than scoring an endgame point or something. Because white doesn't get to play A13. Um, yeah, A13 is legal and doesn't give anything up. It's just a terrible use of a move. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, as... At my level, I like to look at things, um, even if they look dumb, because there's the possibility I might overlook something huge. Um, but yeah, you're right. It, it does concede the co immediately, and black just dies. But um, white doesn't get to play A13. <laughs> but yeah, black could realistically play anywhere else on the board and score more points than playing A13. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Black has to do this first. White does something. And then this approach is actually worthwhile, because then black is a co-threat. Like, I don't know, black plays something to try to kill something. I don't know. And white... Um, has to uh, resolve this co, and then black does something with his co threat. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I'm not very familiar with co threats. I've I've actually played one out in a nine by nine game. I was super proud to have calculated it or read it. Okay, cool. We got that. So. Yeah, so the big, your original comment was that white can respond to black's co-threat down here. Or no, black's co-threat. Black, white can respond once black does be a 19. Because black still has to remove another liberty in order to win this co. So this is, it's a lost cause up here, meaning white doesn't have to do what I did in the game. Which was just kill this right away out of an abundance of panic. It's okay for me to let Black win the first co, because then once he approaches, Black can win and then kill the screw. Um, yeah, Black has to win it twice. You did say that, and that's very well emphasized. That makes sense. I was confused by what we meant by winning it twice, but now I see um, Black has to win it once. Um, White does something... Uh, now black has to make a big threat somewhere else and win the co again. Um, meanwhile, white's actually played two useful moves. Um, that's cool. Uh, let's see, what's our next comment down here? Variation 19. Alright, so the last move was up here. My play was on top. Oh! Duh. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this is not alive. This is not alive. This is much more alive than these two weak stones are. 
Um, yeah, that makes sense. Duh. Like, Black would have to remove five liberties with these two dead stones here. It's just not happening. Uh, like, I can't even see a way to try to make it work. That's that if Black does something like this, how do I kill these stones? I don't immediately have to, but... Oh, wait. I can eventually connect if I must. This is Atari. Um, one, two, three liberties, lots, one, two, three, four, five liberties. So if black tries to live up, okay, I'm, I'm playing moves, um, um, uh, just guessing moves here instead of doing real reading. Like if I start reading, I find this move and white's just super alive. So, black would have to start with something like this, but this is just dead anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, what do we have? The simplest thing to see is that K18 would be Atari. Yeah, right. Right, so black would have to start with this, and then, you know, there's just no follow-up. Um that these three eventually die and like even supposing we got here what still has uh, one two three four five liberties um, okay white has one two three four liberties um, Okay, and then that's Atari here. Yeah, then there's, there's just nothing here. Plus, I am have an Atari threatening that small stone up there anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, okay, you're saying there's even better ways for me to play this um, than that way. Like here, Black's got to do something about that anyway. Um... And white doesn't have to do his stuff immediately. White doesn't even have to play P19. Like, okay, if I want to connect and live, this is the easiest way to connect. And I'm pretty sure between this group up here and this group, I've got at least um, two eyes somewhere. Yeah, duh. Okay, so yeah. These uh, second line moves are way more powerful than the first line moves. Um, yeah, well, that makes sense. So yeah, I could have just um, played this directly and saved myself all the headache. And okay, sure, black might try to rescue this stone or something, but this is a much more sensible outcome than what happened in the game. Um, yeah, not that I even have to play at H15, I've probably got a better move anywhere else. Alright, on to the next comment. C1 has been a huge end game. Yeah, this is where we should have been playing. Just, there we go. Not this variation, but somewhere in the main game line. Um, so, black plays here. Why don't you just play C1? Probably earlier. It's probably been there the whole time. Um, it's been a good endgame move. Can black respond B1? Not my first thought here, but um, can black do this? Tari. 
Atari. Okay, that's not very good. Is that all forced? Uh, is that all forced? I mean, we've got an Atari here, so... I guess the answer is no, that black cannot do this. Okay, it's the fact that he has to respond on B2. Not just because it's a comfortable thing to respond here, but because he actually has to. That makes C1 big for endgame. Um, okay. And then, yeah. Eventually white plays something somewhere around here, like that, but not right now. Um, white plays somewhere else here. Because um, playing the corner is slow, and if black plays down here on d1, um, Atari swiftly follows. Um, okay, yeah, black cannot block the corner. Um, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, you're right. Black cannot block the corner by playing b1, right. See, so yeah, c1's been huge the whole time, and so we have variation 20. Wait, c1, b2, oh, well, I assume this here was variation 20 and then I added this to it, or maybe this is here the whole time, I don't know. Either way, yeah, black cannot block the corner off, so white just reduces black's territory. Oh, what happens after black a1? Uh, white d1. So, assuming I play elsewhere for a move, what happens after this? Um... Not a whole, oh, wait, um, this is exciting. Does black need to respond? Um, hmm, mm -hmm. so white might be threatening a3, maybe, um, I don't think that black needs to respond. Um, A3 is definitely a threat here, but I don't think it's good enough. Um, the way this plays out like this. That's an I. Oh. Okay. And then black needs to go back in time. Um, and then needs to respond. Wow. So that cut on B5 is huge. Um... Okay. I mean, one problem with A1 is that it doesn't do anything. But, yeah, this is a bigger problem. Um, that because it doesn't do anything, that if black gets careless, um, A1's actually removed his most important liberty. Which would be kind of bad. Ah... Uh, so black loses the move, um, scores zero points, but in this position he'd actually want to remove his stone from A1 just so he could play um, up here without dying. So it's done so many terrible things for black to have played that move. Um, yeah. So he's actually scored negative points by playing A1. Um, 
just pretty great. How come this isn't beginner material? This exact sort of thing should be like... I should teach that stuff to beginners. That it's possible to play moves that score negative points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's zero if black responds, but... Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Black can respond. Still, what beginner is going to respond? Um... No, that's a good point. Why aren't we talking blue and red here? We got blue and red, so yeah. Um, yeah, so if blue doesn't respond, um, yeah. I guess it's it is neutral because um, yeah, blue doesn't lose anything as long as blue responds um, to red fixing like this. So blue's got to do I don't know something in this vicinity make an eye somehow. Um, yeah, so an eye for an eye. Whatever. Um, yeah, blue loses Sente, which to beginners doesn't sound like a whole lot because they give up Sente all the time, but um, yeah, here it's actually kind of relevant. Um, Wait, what have I gotten myself into here? Okay, no. White has not, or red has not managed to conjure up Sente out of nothing. Um, if red had a co-threat somewhere around here, maybe Sente could come back, but it's nowhere to be found here. Yeah, Sente's huge. It's huge when you need it, and beginners need it a lot. Alright, and then, okay, this would be the common, simple Joseki. Um, so we've separated these. Oh. Okay, that's peaceful. That's bl uh, red not dying. Um, Alright, and then that's red not dying again. Okay, I like that. That looks simple. So, yeah, red, um, having made that Atari threat, connects together and builds a wall on the outside and continues building that wall here and then plays something somewhere nearby, here or there or somewhere around here. But this one looks best. This looks most efficient. Okay, I think I could play that kind of shape. That doesn't look too difficult. So yeah, it's important to separate your opponent's groups. <laughs> E13 is a bit fancy. Although, like, blue doesn't have any stones anywhere nearby, so of course red can be a bit fancy here. Um, yeah, I could just directly connect if I wanted to be safe. But it looks like, yeah, like, I don't know, if blue approaches this way, red could do that. If blue approaches this way, red could do that. So uh, this fancy move is pretty nice. It doesn't, I'm not even saying that these responses are necessarily best, but it really feels like red's safe here. Um, although I could connect directly and be a little bit less efficient and still be safe. Um, or I could play this like up one or to the left one. Yeah, anywhere around here would be safe to play. Um, you have to bit, be a bit more careful when your opponent peeped. Yeah, I remember that. Um, my opponent peeped somewhere. And I just freaked out. Um, I mean, this is a peep. But I thought there was a more important peep somewhere else in this game. Like, this is a peep, right? I just let him push through. I could have just connected. Oh, at the fancy move. Okay. Um, so, 
have to be more careful. Hmm. Okay, Black's got too many disconnected groups here, but probably this other thing here. This is the one where I need to be more careful, I guess, because this. Um, yeah, that could be unpleasant. Um, right. So here, he's threatening to just cut me, so I need to actually do something like that. Oh, okay, play it out. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll try playing, oh, wait, what? Huh? Something, something. Um, I'm tempted to just sacrifice these two because this position looks bad. Um, let's see, my rank on this site is 15Q. I'm some double digit Q. I don't know exactly how bad I am, but. Um, yeah, I'm somewhere among the ranks of beginners in this game. I'm learning stuff, but uh, I have a way to go. Um, so that's Atari, so black takes here. White, or red is Sente. Yeah. Okay, so... That's the best I could play it out. But yeah, you're right, I should just be more careful and not allow this directly. Um, and now black or blue is placed immediately next to this big wall. Um, I don't see what blue achieves by doing this. Like, this wall is pretty solid. Blue's not going to cut it. Um, the blue pushes, like, what's the point? So, yeah. This is an okay outcome. Even though I've got a weak stone, like, it's not the end of the world. Uh, what if we do this? Um, oh. Oh, that is nice. So, blue can't do that. Um... So that's actually a big threat here. So that's forced. Or something like that's forced. If C11 weren't on the board, I would just ladder. Instead of this fancy move. Uh, there's a reason why you might prefer D14 in this case. Yeah, so... Okay, if this weren't here... I could ladder in response to stuff. Um, but yeah, you're right, there might be considerations where this D14 might be better. Not likely in a beginner game, but there might be. In a beginner game, something's more likely to have died already, if anything is more volatile than this. But yeah, there might be reasons to not play this fancy move, but it's a pretty cool move. Oh, 5Q, not bad. Well done. All right, let me try playing another game here. We had some good fun with that one. Uh, play. Oops. Create. 19 by 19. Um, sure. How about we increase this to 5, Yoyomi, so I don't, like, lose on time. And then after this 19 by 19, maybe I'll play a quick um, 9 by 9, if I can find one. I hear that doing custom game is more likely to get you a match than anything else. Hi, kind of good luck. Okay, let's go. 
I'm going to toggle coordinates off again because I find them distracting. I like the larger board. You know, I'm sure it's going to drive people mad. Yeah, I'm not going to remember all the little details, but, um, you know, the concepts will help at some point. Okay, I don't really get what's going on here other than I could make a smiley face like this. Um, and I guess I could enclose a corner or something. That looks okay, I guess. I don't know the symmetrical stuff, though. Right, so he plays this. I'm going to secure my corner. He's going to play the eighth point, and I've always wondered, like, what do you do after this? Presumably you're not supposed to play all eight of these moves, or all twelve of these moves, exactly on the points, because then you get a really strange symmetrical game. Um, oh. Wait, so I can't do a base, like right next to this. But I can enclose the corner and deny him a base, so... Um, so we're enclosing the corner? <laughs> yeah. I like that Like this interface gives you so many possibilities. So I guess next I could like try to reduce down here or build a base over here or something. Okay, this is an urgent situation. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Like, that's a really tiny base. I could do a similar tiny base, but... Um, or I could come out up here. I could shoulder hit. <sighs> I could jump. Um, I could take the side. I could build a base here, build a base there. But this still feels like a very urgent situation. I could peep. I've never peeped before. It seems like the right thing to do here, though. Although, then he, like, separates my stones, and what am I doing? I'm asking for trouble. I've got trouble. Peep here really doesn't gain me anything. Peeping here might be okay. But, ah. Uh, what a weird situation. My opponent's played five stones into the lower left corner. They're not immediately killing my group, but they're going to chase this if I don't do something. But if I build up, that's just really weird. Um, I could try to use this somehow, constructively. Like, what's he going to do if I do this? This looks okay. Okay, now I'm even more confused. He's going to try to kill these two stones. Uh, he might succeed. I might give him a cookie if he succeeds. But no, he actually, if he gets this lower left quadrant, that's good for him. I shouldn't belittle him so much, but I just don't see what he's doing. Um, okay, let me try to connect directly straight through here. This is awkward, but, um, I mean, what else am I going to do?
Okay, now I jump. I guess. Before he caps me. I do want to do something on the right side of the board, or the bottom side. Um, these are large, unclaimed sections of the board. Uh, this is weird. Okay, I'm going to jump again. Apparently you jump, I jump, you jump, I jump. Okay, finally, he's going to do that. He tries to profit from all this jumping we're doing. And I cut you. Because why not? Let's fight. I'm probably picking a bad fight. I just don't know what else to do here. Okay, I've never done this before. This looks ridiculous. Um, okay. Glad to see we're both trying to put an end to this madness. Our own various ways. Um, Okay. Huh. <laughs> he actually took it. So I get to take here. Okay, that's... I did not think things would go this way. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two. I could not have predicted this. One. All right, so we're in Byoyami. Um, so I've lived, I've done something other than just living. Um, Neither of us really got much territory from that exchange. Oh, this is good for blue. Okay. Hooray. Okay. What's this about? Oh, right. We still want to do something about the other sides of the board. Okay. You do that. I'll do this. I forgot. We have the rest of the board to fight over, too. Okay. Um, it starts to separate my stones and stuff. I'm going to play down here and see where we end up. Do I push past here? This feels super insecure for blue. I'm so confused. I asked for a fight. Ten, I have a fight. Nine, eight, and now I don't know what to do with seven, it. Six, five, four, three. Okay, we're connecting in the corner, I guess. Jeez, I'm so confused. Um, 
Okay, I'm taking this side of the corner. I might be giving away much to... No. Just no. That can't be any good. I don't believe you. I don't want to do first line moves. Ten, nine, <sighs> I've given the seven, corner. Six, I cry. Five, four, three, two, one. I am so crying here. I created an empty triangle because I don't like Byoyomi. I also don't know how many Byoyomi periods I have left. Um. Oh, he's just alive in the corner. Duh. I should have tried to fight this out. Instead of making it easy for him. Well, no. If he plays in the corner immediately, I get Sente back. If he plays that, then we actually do get to fight for how little this lasts for. Um... I'm going to try to fight this, but this is like completely backwards and that I should have had some more influence out here before we started fighting, because now he caps me, or he's threatening to Atari. I don't really have an Atari threat. Yeah, this is just dumb. This is me giving away two stones instead of one, and my opponent doesn't want them. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend Sente, because I want to fight, even though I'm probably losing this. So, how is Red going to fight? Um, Red is going to fight incorrectly. This is what I gambled on, but that's like the worst way Red could have cho uh, chosen to pick this fight. Um, I was expecting they just Atari me. Honestly. Alright. Um, so now what? Okay, so I'm not the only one surprised by the way that played out. It's good to know. Ten, We're all in good company eight, here. Seven, six, five, um, four, three, four. I could play somewhere around here, I guess. Until he does uh, Atari, I don't have to kill. Um, okay, I guess we'll peep. Oh, we're both double digit Q, in case that wasn't obvious. Um, I'm like 50Q and my opponent's like 800Q or something. No, I'm joking, but, um, yeah, we have something to learn from this. I don't know what, but we have something to learn. Um, I am super confused by everything that's going on here. Um... Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know how many Bioyomis I have left. But I'm just taking a moment to calm down and try to figure out what the hell's going on here. I mean, I'm playing good moves, I just, I'm very confused. There are not words in the English language sufficient to describe my level of confusion. 
Um, Yeah, I'm playing some good moves. I'm doing okay reading. Strategically, I'm sure what I'm playing is like utter nonsense, but um, the moves I'm playing are okay. I'm reading things out, not getting like destroyed in the opening. I just need <laughs> not just confidence, but wisdom, really. Uh, separating weak groups is a good thing. Let's try separating weak groups. Okay, you go that way, I go this way. Alright. Um, I'm not killing any of this, am I? Okay. What if I do this? Oh, okay, so those second line moves on the top were just terrible, and I should have been playing elsewhere. Um. I can very much believe that, because I had no idea where I, what I was trying to do there. Alright, Atari. Okay, that's one way of dealing with Atari. Um... Ick. I've been too eager to kill this. Yeah, strategically seven, I'm lost. Nine, eight, seven, strategically I'm playing pretty terribly. Okay, these two are going, but I'm going to build some kind of wall here. We're mutually building a wall. Oops. Alright, what did Nightbot do here? Well, I can't see the link anymore because too many people said things. I didn't follow it fast enough. I was trying to click on it to figure out what the link was. Um, ten, ten. Alright, this can't possibly work. I'm just adding more stones to the pile of dead stones here. Oh. Oh, just the game ID. 12298899. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Um four stones in a line, all of them dead. Ten, Oops. 9 8 7 6 Oopsie daisy. Okay, whatever. We tried. Uh, yep, that's four dead stones and probably more to follow. Um. Yeah, Nightbot's a bit aggressive here. Although, in fairness, um, there was the one rule that everybody's seen before they started typing here. Although maybe it doesn't show a mobile or whatever. Um, oh. Damn. Uh, okay. 
I see, so I've given up two stones for this. We're just adding more stones to the pile of dead stones. That's okay. We're just gambling. Just throwing all our stones on the roulette wheel and seeing if something, if we ever hit red or if we ever hit black. You know? Um, I mean, sometimes it's paid out. Here, not so much. Actually, damn, I'm lucky at this. <laughs> oh man, for a double digit cube, I'm definitely picking up on this concept of luck. I've been doing too much Sumego. Uh, and Sumego, uh, I'm doing a lot of this one move reading stuff. Okay, I've increased my liberty count. Um, that's what we're going to call that kind of move. Um, I have increased my liberty count. It's paying out, so... I still feel bad about it. Because, like, I should be playing more constructive things than this. I don't know exactly what, but it's paying out, so... Yeah, that, that's a move that increases the liberty count. Um, I guess that's what I'm going to call that when I uh, gamble it all and then accidentally win some liberties. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Wait. Okay, I'm not living there. I should do something more constructive somewhere. Can I kill this Ten, stuff? Nine, eight, seven, six, Let's try this. I might be able to kill something here. If I can, this has been dead forever, and I've just not been reading it. Um, why should I be the only one running? So I get that he's, like, enclosed this corner. Um, I should have done a better job surrounding this before trying to go in for a kill on it. Simon so Atari. Um, yeah. No, I've not won this at all. Um, okay, so he lives. He lives. Fine. I need to accept that and move on. Until we go back and kill it. Now where's my bigger move? There's some bigger move in this position. I just don't see where. I could cut this one stone off, but I don't like that. Yeah, I have to surround and then kill. So this is me trying to, like, I don't know, reduce the bottom end, because I don't know what else I'm doing. Um... Hmm. 
I mean, I know I'm clearly better here, but um, I'm just not sure what to be doing. But yeah, I definitely would need to work on that surround first and then kill thing. Even though sometimes it works the other way, it totally shouldn't. Okay, so we're fighting over this space. Um, I guess this is a reasonable move to put something somewhere in this vicinity. Are you sure about that one? Okay, surround and then kill. Surround and then kill. Ten. Here, let's take this top. I don't need to kill this little group of three. The, there's no profit in that. I don't know why he's picking a fight there. Like, he can't win... Oh, well, he might be able to win something here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. No, you, you have a very good question, who's actually doing the surrounding here. And that's started to occur to me as well, um, now that I'm getting surrounded. Uh, so, I still have this. Could have played this an eternity ago. We're playing it now. Am I still surrounding myself here? So if this group lives... Wait, I'm still getting ahead of myself, aren't I? I'm assuming a lot about the life status of my group. Um, I'm still trying to live, though. He might get a huge payout here. Um, I don't know.
Well, that's Atari. I have to respond to that Atari. Which allows him to... Well, that's not what I expected. Uh, I'm getting very much surrounded, though. thought I had an out here. I'm just being an idiot. Okay, I'm losing this big group of stones. Unless I can find a way out. Um, he's got... Ten, nine, eight, I don't like time seven, pressure. Six, it's just five, eating me alive. Four, three, two, one. Um... Ah, time pressure. Okay, so I'm maybe surrounding one stone in exchange for this big chain. Um, maybe, if I'm lucky. If this big chain is dead, this smaller group is dead. Um, and we're fighting over endgame at this point. My opponent might not see things the same way. Of course, not, well, okay. Um. Oh, am I not surrounding this little stone either? I thought I had that little stone. My goodness, I'm dense. Ten. Nine, eight, Jeez. Seven, six, this is discouraging. I'm getting all my guys killed. How many Bioyomis do I have left? Three. Okay. I have a little bit of time to think. Not very much. But I have some. I'm doing an excellent job surrounding myself. I keep fighting and I'm not winning any of this. There's only the one fight which I'm winning. And that's this one here. That's Atari. That forces me to respond here. Um, yeah, okay. You've profited hugely from my numerous errors. Although, it's cost you plenty of stones placing in here. So it hasn't been a complete loss for me. Um... That's a first line move. I should ignore it. Um. Ten, nine, eight, nine, seven. This doesn't even do anything. He's still fully connected here. I'm trying to make a threat. Truly I am. Um, I'm failing badly at threat making. Um... 
Okay, this is how you make a threat. It's not even a very effective threat, but at least it doesn't lose anything to play the move. That was free for me to peep. This peep is also free. So I can sacrifice my stones and build up this big wall and control the upper left. And at least it's not a complete loss. It's a horrible loss, but not a total loss. Okay, we're not going to put up with this. Oh. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> Go from one fight to the next to the next, losing stuff along the way. Um, Yeah, I keep picking tons of bad fights. I'm avoiding immediate losses, but picking fights that are no good. Do we open a co here? I guess we do. Fine. We'll fix. We can fix. Um. See, what else can I do? I guess the good news is that there's a first time for everything, and so now I've seen this first line tactic, and I'll remember what it's like to lose everything to your first line, not being protected. Um. Okay, better than being completely cut is just losing one stone. Um. This is not what I wanted to see. That's Atari. That's also Atari, but if I fix this, like, this is just ugly. Uh, fixing this cut, though, is a sensible course of action. I can play this. 
If I can't, I want to see how this plays out. This is me just surrendering points. My opponent's good at this uh, invasion stuff. They definitely got something out of that. Wait, that works? Jeez. Okay, fine. You get the corner then. I've played a terrible, terrible endgame. You've earned it. We're gonna fix this cut. Um, uh, what other endgame moves do we have? Let's fix this. Oh, duh. Hello. Yeah, I shouldn't let him reduce me here. How? Okay, yeah, I guess that's sound. It's exciting at any rate. Um, shit. Okay, so I've lost like 40 points just to like not being able to read anything for beans. Um,. There we go. Played a good move. Um, maybe. At least I've not, like, self atari today. I should be proud of that. Okay, he plays in the corner. I play in the corner. What? Why? Why that move? If this is like an attempt to surround territory, isn't there a better way about it? I'm not sure if that was forced or not, but it's Dame anyway, so no harm in filling it. And I didn't see anything more urgent. Um, <laughs> Ten. Nine. Now he still has two eyes here already. Oh, yeah, I guess removing co threats makes sense. That would be one way to make sense of Red's play.
This is just going out on a lark. He is forced to respond to it. Although now he has two eyes. Um, can I go up here? I could. It's not wise to do so. It's wiser to play here. This is not a threat. This might be a threat? No, not even close. 10, 9, 8, 7. Let's try this anyway. No, it's too slow. Um, also, that's too slow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, um, one. Huh. All right. I guess we'll just let my big stick die. Yeah, I don't see anything here. So I'm... White wins by 56. I thought so. I thought that this was not a close game. All right. Thanks for the game. So yeah, my opponent's rank was 10Q. That was more than 50 stones uh, behind. Um, um, <laughs> I've lived up to my ranking as a double-digit Q player. Um, <laughs> uh, not passing earlier. Yeah, I just, like, I don't know. There's a lot I can learn from this, I guess. Um, so what happened? Taking a step back. Did I count my... Do I see my number of... No. I think I had two Byoyomi left at the end. Um, yeah, the blunders were pretty funny. Honestly. So, what happened? We got this thing. Wait. I played up here. It's like from the outset. Already here, I'm enormously confused by what's going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, those are good blunders. Those are funny. Um, but yeah, you got Sente over and over and over that game. Um, 
and had a much better understanding of what was a real threat, what cre what threats were credible, and what threats were not credible. And I played a lot of really incredible threats, and you just didn't even bother responding. You played better moves. Um, 50 point, or, yeah, the fact you won by, like, 56, though, is a bit more than I thought. But, um, in hindsight, the math adds up. But still. Like, what is this? Picking a fight with my weak stone. I don't get this. Um... I know I'm supposed to respond when there's an urgent situation, but, like, here, I just really don't get what's going on there. This ensures that you have forcing moves. Okay. And this is a good move for red. Um... Uh, to build the bottom. Alright, it just ensures you have forcing moves to build the bottom or strengthen the left, for example. Uh, yeah. This definitely breaks the symmetry. I was curious how and when that was going to happen. Um, because they always tell beginners, oh, just corners and then sides and then center. And do these approach and in closing moves and you'll be fine and you're like great I'll do it and then your opponent plays this kick here and you're like uh well crap I have to improvise <laughs> um oh the left side stone okay so the fact that you did this left side stone should have inspired me to do something I can't just completely ignore it. Um, or rather, when I do enclose and I ignore it, I'm giving up this fight. Because I can't win that fight anymore. Um, or at least it, it doesn't look reasonable for me to try to win that. Maybe I should just jump right into the corner here. I have not studied these jumps at all. But this probably would have been a better use of Sente than what I ended up doing. Or even if I just played out one and then jumped in the corner. My move at d6 is okay then. Alright. Whoops. Coordinates. Yeah, by d6 we mean this is okay. But I think after. Like, yeah, I have to run. I don't like running, uh, or give it up, but giving it up is huge, so make sure I get compensation. Um, so would this be enough compensation, just taking the right corner? I assume you're not just going to give it to me, that I have to fight for it, but I think this might be more urgent than this corner. Um... Oh! Oh! Right. So I've approached the corner. My opponents ignored my approach. Here we go. Yeah. This would have been more fun. I don't know this, uh, this jumping into the corner stuff, but I had to try it. Um... Red did not ignore it. I mean, yeah, he did play this enclosure thing on the other end. Um, yeah, I did not follow up. Okay, it's a bit early to jump into the corner. Well, so, I mean, in the game, I enclosed my own corner because I didn't know what to do. 
Um, Q9 or Q10 is more normal here. Yeah, something like this. In light of the fact that, like, red is threatening to... I don't want to do something completely symmetrical here, so Q9 I like. Um, I'd rather not be on the same rank as white or red. This looks okay. Um, yeah. And now that I have a little more influence here, now if we see this, now I do want to do this. I really do. I'd rather, there's just so much tension on this board. I'd rather see some of it resolve. It's just too much for a beginner. Um, yes, red separates my stones, but, you know, I want to do something like this. Because otherwise, there's just too much. I can't keep track of it all. Oh, variation. I would suggest this Joseki if you do not want to run. Okay, so. Wait, this starts after uh, C10. If I don't want to run. Okay, then build into the corner. I've seen people do this against me. Okay, so I can settle. Yeah, that looks fine. And I guess I predict red's going to do something like this, or I don't know. But I can settle. How's this go again? Um, so the 3-4 point, the 3-2. Two, uh, two. Um, so yeah, threatening to, threaten, threatening to Atari. Fixing, red fixes, blue fixes, and um, blue can settle. C15 is a better shape than C14. Oh. Okay. I did not know that. Okay, so if I've already... Um, started to enclose my corner, C4 or 15 is the way to solidly enclose it and just deny any uh, jumps into it. Because I've seen, like, there's stuff where even after this, there's still some 3 3 jump theory. I don't know any of it, but I've, at least Nick Sabicki showed, like, there's still some crazy circumstances where you can do this sort of thing and get something out of it. Um, so yeah, C15 is a more solid enclosure. Um, and then red just can't do anything because you have too much of a presence in the corner. That actually helps a lot with like breaking the symmetry of stuff. So that's cool. Um, so, yeah, I can approach the corner and then do a small base. Oh, and of course, yeah, I must have at least two eyes here. So that's good. This is another Joseki. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so if, yeah, if red tries to enclose me there. Oh, right, this thing. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Wow. Oh, <sighs> that's complicated. Um. Another choice of the upper left is C12. Um. <laughs> To pincer C10. 
Uh, you play c10 with the gold, be making b16 a better invasion. Um, yeah, I'd recommend settling c6. Yeah, like, yeah, I guess with so much, so many stones building around my c6 stone, I should try to settle it. Because I don't like running. I'm sure I could get the hang of running at some point, but it's not something I'm going to try to learn right now. Um, but yeah, the rest of this game was just a bloodbath of, um, after I'd won that big fight through a blunder. Um, I messed this up too. Like, I got way greedy. This didn't work at all. Uh, this was okay. This... Um, huh. Maybe this wasn't okay. Hmm. Wait, how did we get here? I was trying to prevent my corner from being invaded. Uh, I just did the solid connection. And then my C or Q10 stone is completely unsettled. And I found that very unsettling. And I just didn't know what to do. I saw this possibility and I'm like, there's no way this works. But maybe I had to do it. I just couldn't evaluate this. This looked too complicated for me. Because um, then we get this and this. Um, this I can't have read any of that correctly either. Um, But yeah, this follow, definitely follows this one, two, three jump idea. Red jumps, and Q10 is just unsettled. And yeah, Q10 could run. And this is a situation where running might be the most profitable thing to do. Because, um, like, that group is completely unsettled. There's no shame to running. Um, it means I'm going to be in pain for a while as I run. Q2 was a big mistake. Okay. Oh, because, yeah, Q10 is unsettled. I should do something about it, right? I should have done Q7 instead. To at least try to settle. Um... And then if this, if this, I don't know, something, this is far better than the game. It's far less painful. Yeah. Um, but at least I haven't given up the side of the board. So this would make sense. I can't get everything. In chess, you get everything. In Go, it's about compromise. You give something to get something. Um, so, okay, if I allow this R2, then now what? I want to do something about this corner. Um... I guess this is as much of the corner as I'm giving up. Because, like, this invasion is just ridiculous. So, red has to solidify here. And blue can do something. Blue has sente. Um, yeah, disconnecting Q10 was huge. 
Disconnecting Q10 was just showing that I'm not paying enough attention to what's going on. It was a very large move, strategically. It was very unsettling for me. <laughs> I wonder. Um, so we had this fight in the upper right corner. When did we have this fight? When did this fight happen? So I played this. Okay, so at this point you're not threatening to unsettle my Q10. Though I haven't done anything to help it. Um, this is starting to vaguely threaten what happened in the game. Oh, this. This was dumb. This was really dumb. Um, yeah. So, here blue should have done something constructive. There's so many good moves. Blue just has to pick one. Um, but also, let me back up way back here. Okay, so you take the corner, you play this. I don't even know why I'm playing in the corner anyway. Because, like, I can surround this group. I'm fairly certain I can kill this entire group here. How do we get here? My goodness, what am I doing? This makes some sense. This at least... Um, I've started to build a base on the side. Invading the corner was not the best use of my time here. Um, I can surround that group on the left. And I didn't do it. Um, Q5 is the shape point. Oh. Okay. I guess I could believe the Q5 is the shape point here. Or maybe later here. Maybe here Q5 is the shape. I don't know. Somewhere Q5 is our shape point. But still, I think I should have, like, tried to do something more... do something much more aggressive on the left side of the board. Um... I just couldn't figure it out. But it really feels like I've got something going there. Yeah, prevent red from connecting out. Um, so what, here? Is that what we mean by prevent red from connecting out? I don't know. Like, anything anywhere in this vicinity would have been a good move. I think. Try to connect under. So, like, here, then. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Even if red lives, it's a really sad life. Red B7. So, okay, so red lives, but I get some mischief over here. Um, I 
I mean, this little wall that Red's built up means I'm not going to kill the entire corner or anything ridiculous like that, but I get some mischief here. I get to... Like, if I have to connect under, I still kind of like that. But, um... Pushing straight through doesn't quite work. Um... Whoops, not there. Here. <sighs> but maybe I should play this move order a bit differently. Maybe I should feign that I'm interested in this corner. And then come back and try to kill the red group. Um, I don't know, something like this maybe? If I don't block, red b7's free. But if I block first, red dies. Um, so if I play b7 myself, um, this does prevent red from connecting underneath. Um, Red might have to try to connect all the way through the upper left corner or something. Which seems, like, not feasible. Because that's a lot of red stones to have to place. Um, so yeah, I think red might be dead here. Um, is there anything red can do to make something positive of this? Okay, red's losing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 stones, but claiming some territory in the bottom left. So it's not a complete wash. It's not great. And that's not the right way to do it. Um, something more like this. Red gets something for the dead stones. Um, so what's the best way for me to make use of this situation? Push, cut, try to get into the fight. Or try to fi uh, find a fight here. Um, like, here's pushing. This is not a cut. Um, and then red can connect underneath if I let that happen. Wait, red would not play there, red would play like here. Okay, so yeah, I do need to start by, like, separating these groups. I can't start with anything more aggressive than that. Um. Yeah. And if red does this anyway... Push, cut, try to start a fight. I mean, c7 is a push here. Um, c4 is a cut. Not a very clean one. Uh, okay, this is not good. So c4 is just right out. Um... Throw in b9. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's efficient. Red has solidly enclosed the corner. Um, blue has surrounded this red group. 
and yeah, the red's not going to make two eyes. And that's that. So if red plays b7, that's what we see here. If red instead tries to make eyes this way, um, I don't know. This maybe? Trying to cut. Red joins up. Just reduce the eye space this way. Um, yeah, red is not settled enough. Um, or maybe even this. Um, or if we switch things around, maybe like this. Yeah, red's not settled enough. There really needs to be a way to describe how settled a group is, and a way to teach beginners what settling means. Because if you haven't settled, you're going to have a lot of bad fights. Um, but yeah, here red is not at all settled. So blue should um, first surround the group, then prevent it from settling. Um, and then eventually go in for a kill. Um, red B10 here. Uh, oh, that's complicated. Wow. Okay, I can't let that happen. That's possibly just terrible for blue. So blue has to do B10 instead. Wait, what? There was something here? Blue B12. Um, yeah. This is red living somehow, I think. Um, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, right. So I can't play this empty triangle here. I have to like play something more aggressive. Um, so uh, if I play this red b10 anyway, um, and then blue b12, and then red something. Red needs to make eyes somewhere, and it's easier to make them closer to the edge than closer to the center. Um, red might be alive. He's had to concede a little bit of the corner, but not very much. Red has n virtually no territory. And blue's building up lots of influence, but um, red might live. I guess what I'm taking from this is that in Go, living is not hard if you're willing to make concessions. If you're willing to concede a little bit of influence, a little bit of your corner, um, it's not too difficult to find a way to live. Despite, like, double-digit Q games, pe players blunder all over the place. Yeah, and it's pretty thin influence, too. You're right. Um, Red's not sacrificing too much to keep this group alive. There's a lot of strength here before Blue started trying to kill it. Um, maybe Blue had a better way to approach this to begin with. No doubt, I played many blunders leading up to this. So I saw this. Oh right, we've been over this. Um, so, yeah, what we've resolved is that um, if I don't like running, I should attempt 
to settle. Um, um, I wonder, could I just play this here? Might this be the easiest way that a beginner could get something that a beginner could read? Um, yeah, no, it's not a bad result. I just want something that doesn't require me to read like 10 moves out to be able to enjoy a fun game of Go. No, I think what I played was okay there, but um, like you're saying, C15 would have been better or more sound for that corner. Here, red is settled with a small, small base. Um, and either I'm willing to run or sacrifice these two. Um, so, yeah, I think I would have much more enjoyed playing something like this. Although I don't have enough space to live. So what am I talking about? That's no good. But we discussed here, not this, this. Okay, so instead of settling toward that, we settle toward the corner. And then we have our Joseki here. And this is something that I can learn over time or whatever. But yeah, if a player's pushing me, if they're if they're building a base, or uh, I don't know, if they're starting to approach my approach stone, I can settle into the corner, and that's not a bad result either. Um, yeah, I'll learn some of that Joseki, just so I don't have to be running all the time, because running's no fun. So, gameplay proceeded quite a bit, um, and, yeah, no, I, I don't know that I have much comment for the rest of this game. I was running the entire game, basically, because, um, other than this one thing I got here, and the one victory in the upper right corner, um, yeah, I just did not settle at all. And I got crushed. Like, I kept getting surrounded over and over. Um, I was very impressed, honestly, by... What was it? This here. I've heard of the monkey jump. Um, even if this isn't a proper monkey jump, like, I now see that it's possible to reduce the corner in this way. I didn't believe this. Like, this seemed ridiculous to me. I just figured there's no way that this is, this red stone is actually living. Um, I greatly underestimated this. But, even if you give me those ten some points, whatever, if I had just actually responded to this and kept my corner, something more like this. Um, even giving me 10 points, I still lost by like 56, so I'd lose by 46 instead. But this is a funny technique. Um, I just didn't believe that red was living at all, but then I couldn't find a way to kill it either. Um, I was too proud to play a move like that. This is Atari anyway, so I can't play there. I saw that... I read that if this happened, um, this wouldn't be that great for me anyway. Um, so yeah, this red can jump all the way out here. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, you're right. Well, no, I, I think this center, or this corner got re reduced to Dame. So this 10-point swing is just... 
uh, 10 points. I don't... How do you do math in this scoring stuff? Um, that's plus 10 points for me. But that's 10 less points, Dame. I still think that's just a 10 point swing. Like, if it were me taking 10 points of his territory away, that'd be different. I think. Yeah, if I'm... I mean, I'm the beginner here. You're probably right. But I still have a very difficult time believing that that's a 20-point swing. I'll have to think more about it. Um... See, so yeah, I just surrendered the corner and everything else and got crushed. Uh, here, I got stupid. I played down here. I played all these moves which didn't make a lick of difference. I could have just played up here. This would have been fine. Chinese scoring makes it more clear. Okay. I'll think more about it in terms of that. I still think this got reduced to Dame. Like, neither of us scored this area. Um, but yeah, area scoring, where if you put all his stones on these points... Um, I guess I don't have any stones over there. Huh. Yeah, I guess area scoring, where you score the points where your stones are at, it makes a lot more sense. It still seems like magic to me that that could actually be worth something. <sighs> but I guess that means that I filled in ten of my own points somewhere else or some stupid something. I don't know. Like, obviously I've been playing moves other places on the board. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I'll have to think more about it, because that seems hugely confusing to me. Oh, yeah, so, like I said, I, I should have fixed my cut forever ago here. Oh, okay. I was behind anyway, so losing by 10, losing by 56 are the same thing here. So it's okay that I didn't fix my cut and that I tried something a bit riskier. This was stupid, though. This was stupid. This was okay. Even though it didn't do anything. By this point, it was too late anyway. Um. Yeah, now, fixing my cut would have been a far better use uh, than me trying to invade the lower left corner, but I'm lost anyhow, so I think it's okay. I'll ponder over this 10-point, um, 20-point swing, whatever. But I think what that comes out to is that me trying to connect here and do stupid traps obviously didn't work in the game. Might have been the best prophylactic move, or practical move, but uh, it didn't work at all. So, uh, let's try to seek a 9x9. And after our 9x9, nine nine, I guess we'll wrap things up. Um, 5 Bioyomi, 10 second. Starting with 5 minutes. That seems fun. Also, yes, I'm continuing to plug uh, Dennis's chess blog, where he writes fantastic coverage of the world's best chess events. Hopefully that doesn't annoy the Go players too much here. Um, and if we can't get a 9x9, nine nine, we'll just wrap it up, but, yeah, we had some good games. Um, I'm not completely terrible at Go, but apparently I have a great deal to learn about it, even today. Black to move. Hi, come good luck. Alright. I did not look at my opponent's rank, although I probably will end up doing so as I toggle coordinates off, Zen mode on. I'm going to avoid taking Tengen here. Um, uh, 
okay. Oh, am I letting my opponent take all four star points? Oh boy. <laughs> I have bargained um, for far more than I wanted to here. So my opponent settled all four corners, and I've taken the center. This is not going to end well. I should have tried to take at least one corner. Um, okay. We can make something positive come of this. Maybe. If not, we'll have to play one more game, because this is just embarrassing as all hell. Red can win this. Um, okay, so I've not lost yet. Typically, I try to influence or take at least one of the corners. Um, as opposed to immediately surrendering all four of them. So I'm very confused as to what's occurring. Um, all right, let's take this one. Not so much anymore. Okay. I forgot. This, uh, this is a much smaller board. I should have time to think. Red is boned. Okay. Well, with that attitude, red is. Red's going to win this, guys. We got this. Easy peasy. Just got to play some aggressive moves to make up for our past mistakes. <laughs> uh, this is not looking good, though. Um, we got this. Easy. Goes easy, guys. You just have to keep um, doing the gambler's fallacy. Um, just keep putting those coins in the machine. Eventually it'll pay out. It's the same thing with Go. If you make enough mistakes, eventually one of them will work out for you. Alright, so can I connect underneath? I could. I don't want to. I'd much rather do this. Oh, we're just winning some 9 by 9 That's all that's going on here. There's a lot of winning. Now, do I just do something up here, or do I go directly for this guy? Yeah, let's separate these two stones. They both look weak. We can take them. If he does that, um, we prevent get it, us from getting a tarried. I noticed that on the server, generally the lower ranked player gets to move first. Um, I don't know if that's just an assumption on my part, but the fact that I'm moving second I think means that I am the higher ranked player and probably reading a little bit better. Red's a little less boned. See? Told you we had this. We had this in the bag the whole time. Easy peasy. Um, maybe. I don't know. We're probably boned. But we tried. Uh, okay, I don't want to get cut in half. That'd be sad. Alright, blue's trying to connect. Um, I can't, like, surround him if he does connect, right? That's too optimistic on my part. If I go here, if he connects, if I go here, he goes there. I go here. No, because if he connects, then, like, he's got the Atari up here. We're just going to kill this.
Oh, maybe uh, yeah, maybe OGS doesn't necessarily do that in game challenges. Not just on the typical pool or quick game buttons, maybe it does that. Okay, that's really weird. Um Okay. We'll do this. This seems like a useful use of a move. Um, and that's Atari? Double what? Oh, is there a double Atari here? Is there a double Atari? Okay, so I could fix here. I might as well. Unless, like, no. Oh, if I fix, though, he connects. So we have to do this instead. Oh, wait, but if he connects, I could have killed this little guy. That would have been a better result than this result. So now we got a co. Um... It's not the co we wanted, but it's the co we deserved. All right, um, fine. Go ahead, take the co, whatever. Kill the bottom, oh, I can kill that? Wait, what? Huh. I mean, I can approach it. Um, yeah, C4 is coming. Do I play C4 here? Do I just connect directly? goodness. Okay, we're going to fix everything and connect directly. But you're saying I should be approaching and killing this lower right corner. I really don't have anything else to do here, so we're going to try that. Yeah, I don't necessarily care about the stone. I just don't understand what's going on in this situation. And I'm impatient. Um, if I were more patient, I would be reading this stuff. What? Ah, <sighs> really? Ten, nine, eight, okay. Seven, six, five. We're gonna try this. And I assume he's going to play I3, and I'm going to play on the first rank and try to connect underneath and kill stuff, because um, otherwise this is not a good result. Three, two, one. This looks okay for me. Ten, nine, Atari. Eight, eight. Ten, yeah, so we got the nine, corner. Eight, seven, six, five, four, four. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
5, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, um, 5, 4, 3, Let's avoid two, self Atari. 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5. This can't possibly be my best move, but I'm afraid of nine, slipping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, um, three, two. I guess we pass. I don't see a better move than passing. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six. Uh, yeah. Some Ten, avoiding getting nine, killed there. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I can pass again. Ten. White wins by 14. Okay, that was a more drastic win than I thought it was. Uh, yeah, good game. I think I even showed my opponent a thing or two about passing at the end there. Um, like, if he tries playing more moves, I just kill whatever he plays. Assuming, of course, he manages to Atari me somehow, and I didn't even come to that. Um... So, yeah, this thing of killing the lower left or lower right is what made the difference here. Um, yeah, I typically don't give away all four corners. Um, I should have preferred to just play here and try to keep things simple. <laughs> Even though giving away three corners is probably not that great either. Um, Gosh, I'm out of form. Yeah, why don't I just play this? And then at least I have a corner. Okay, and if he does this, I don't know. You can play a lot of things in 9x9. Nine nine. Um, it just feels like this is a really weird situation. But aren't all my games weird? Okay, so if my opponent starts with a corner move, I don't know. Why don't I just play the opposite corner? If he plays this, sure. And then we have to play a game. Or I could take this corner and we give a cross game. Or, I don't know, he takes here and we do something. I don't know. There's lots of ways to play 9x9. Nine uh, Go Quest. I'll take a look at it. OGS is pretty great, honestly. Um, let's see if we can get one more. Because that was very fast paced. It was exciting. Um, Cross game in 9x9 is really good for white. Hi, good luck. Alright, so last time our opponent took the corner. Let's see if we can take all the corners. Cross game's good for white, so let's not play a cross game. Let's play a game of four corners. Alright. This is a thing, apparently. What? What? Really? We're going to pick a fight here. Even though I have more stones in here. Um, not what I expected. Okay. This still seems fun. 
Seems like an adventure. So I've sacrificed a stone, if assuming he's willing to take it, um, to try to connect my group. He's not taking it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Fine, I guess. I need to try to make a life here somewhere. So my group down here is alive? No? Like, how does this live? All right, what do we got? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, thanks for the game. Variation one. Uh. Variation makes sense. Sense. All right. Well, uh, I played a good move that game. Turns out that if you have all four of these corners, it's kind of difficult for your opponent to live. It's possible, but they have to read things correctly. And if they play really aggressive moves and they misread, bad things happen. <laughs> That's funny. I can't really fault White for messing that up. Um, much as I want to. It's just, yeah, when I play like this ridiculous four corner opening, of course I'm spreading myself as thin as possible. There's a potential that that's gonna backfire. But oh, is there so much potential for white to misread things. Um, because I have all the influence. Uh, I should do more of this 9x9 stuff and just play all four corners. Because, like, there's no way that that's sound, right? Like, opening this way is the most provocative thing you could possibly do on a four, uh, 9x9 game, I think. Because none of your stones are connected. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess uh, at a double-digit Q level, anything could happen. Anything does happen. I'm actually curious, from this position, how should black play? Just assuming for a second that this is the starting position and not some random BS that you just decided to open with because it looked fun. Does black actually have a good move here or is black just busted? Because this, this does not look good for black. This looks rather bleak, in fact. Um, double peep. Okay. Um... So, let's see. How do we double peep this? Do we, like, peep here, and then peep there? And we've made a little face or something? Peeping seems reasonably good here. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at this. This looks too outrageous. Yeah, we made a sad face. Um, yeah, I don't know. Definitely something to think about, because that's... 9x9 nine nine go is hard. All go is hard. Sad face, but happy black. Yeah, uh, like, white's built a stick in the middle of the board. Assuming white responds that way. 
probably why it plays something saner. Like that. Um, and black has to come up with something. Um, yeah, I'll have to read this out for a bit. Maybe throw this at Leela or something. See what it comes up with. Variations 2 and 3. Alright, take a look. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I mean... I don't think white should respond at 2, if I had to guess. Okay, so if we have respond here at this 2, white uh, goes this way, pushes through, uh, our black pushes through, white cuts, black cuts, um, white fixes. Okay, this looks like a reasonable result, I think. Yeah, this is a really small board. So this looks like a reasonable result for both colors. I don't like it so much for black. Um but it looks reasonable. My own opinion, like I stated before, is that black is probably just screwed um, after playing all four corners like that and having no central uh, control at all. This can't possibly be any good for black. Um, black's just much too thin. But this seems like a good way to play it if you get stuck in that situation. Um, yeah. Black doesn't have a good move here. I mean, black could cut white. Um, yeah. That's no good. Um, so, backing up. White plays here. Wait, we said a cross game was good for white. I don't ha This isn't a cross game, though. This is different. Um, no matter where white plays, this is not a cross game. Or if white goes uh, like this, this is still not a cross game. Um, if white spends a move on Tengen, um, yeah, black gets stuff. Oh, okay. So so you were okay with this variation. Okay. Well, if you're saying this is fine and you're like 3Q... No, uh, it was Mr. Matson who was 3Q, but still. I, I respect my audience here. If they think this is fine, this is fine then. If this is something we can play, by all means, this looks hilarious. I, I do feel like Black has spread himself super thin. I'm very quick to question Black's situation, but, um, you're not sure why it should connect at six, yeah. But still, like, this situation looks playable. Anything can really be played on 9x9 board. But four corners seems like the most sketchy thing you could possibly play. If I had to guess. Uh, I guess my point is like, okay, yeah, I can go for all that. I should probably prefer this, though. Because white can't get a cross game. Um, white would have to land both of the other star points in one move to do that. And black can prevent that. Yeah, 9 by nine's complicated stuff. Um, I am pretty sure that this has got to be better for black. Or if not this, maybe something like this, or I don't know. This just feels like white's too thin. Uh, but maybe this. I don't know where black goes. Maybe this. I should practice this kind of shape, because this looks fun. No, this is super thin, though. If I'm going to be thin, I should at least try to get something for it. 
Um, though the largest area of the board is this outside, so we should take that. Um, yeah, we'll just play by, like, here's the largest territory, this outside of the board. This is the outside. If white plays over here, here's the outside. If white plays over here, we have an outside here. Just trying to take the outside seems fun. Um, Tengen, I'm convinced, is just the least fun way to play 9x9. I've played it so many times, and I've gotten positions where all my stones are really tightly clumped together. Um, I think playing for territory on the outside is more fun. Uh, it's easy to lose playing tamely as black. You always open um, Takamoku. Tengen is the most popular. 5-4 is the second most popular. Yeah, Tengen is pretty solid. I just really don't enjoy playing it. Um, I found a lot more fun games. Um, like, I've played it so many times, and the problem is you can't move the stone once you've placed it down. Um... But okay, if this is popular, I should look at games where people have done this and see what stuff I can come up with. Because this gives me some flexibility. Um, if I play directly on Tengen, then like I've committed to the exact center of the board. So any path I have to make has to connect through it. But here, I can connect around the center point or through it. Um. <laughs> there is a variant where you can move stones once they're down. Yeah, I mean, it's so true though. Like, Tengen, you've committed that your opponent can attack you from any direction. Here, your opponent has to make a, more of a decision about which direction they attack you from. Yeah, well, 5-5 five, five is not great. 4 5 fives is efficient. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I think, like, you think on April 1st they'd make a variant where you could just play move the stones once they're down. Let's take a look at a game. There's 69 live games on here. And not a single one of them is a 9x9. Man. Here, let's show 28 at a time. Okay, can I find a 9x9 to look at as we wind down? Or can I not? Um, let's see. Here's the time. Here's the time. Here's the player. Here's the match conditions. I can't find which game is a 9x9. Huh. That's weird. What if we show 12? Still no indication about what the board size is, what rules are being used. Never would have guessed. Okay, let's look at the live games. Okay, let's show 9 at a time again. Apparently this is what we gotta do if we wanna try to find... Oh, here we go. Let's wind down watching this. You're pretty much committed to fight, or else the 5-5 five, five point call me is too hard to do anything about. As white, you could play more solid and just try to live and win. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, here we see, well, white's been cut in two. This is kind of a sad situation for white. Well, except the corner is... Yeah, white's got the corner. That's, like, a lot of black stones that are dying in that corner. So it's like white and black are reversed now, and black just has to try to take some territory and live, but it's not going to end well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
And now we Atari? That's not Atari. Black's gotta start Atariing. Um Oh. Oh that's cold. Oh boy. Oh me oh my. <laughs> this is not a good result for black. This is not a good result for black. Um, yeah, so I guess we're going to wrap up on this. Thanks for watching. It's been fun. Yeah, well played, everybody. Go is hard. Go study it. Go do some sume go. I'll take a look at that one go application that you mentioned. Oh, black is a bot. I've heard Fuego before. Alright. But yeah, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Uh, and we'll see you all next time. Have a good night.